Welcome to the link a product to an associated exporter training module. This module will show you how to link a product to an associated exporter in Wallace. The functionality allows exporters greater control over the labels and quantities of a product that an associated exporter is able to export. Please note that only users with admin access on the account will be able to link products to an associated exporter. Begin by logging in to Wallace with your username and password. From the home page, click on the link products to an associated exporter button to begin. Wallace will display a list of associated exporters linked to the license. Use the tick box to select the required associated exporter and click next to continue. To authorise labels, click on search to display a list of labels registered against your license or you can use any of the available search fields to filter your label search. Click select to select the label you wish to authorise. To enter the details for label authorisation, scroll right on the label record to see the options. The label can be authorised by total volume, expiry date or status. Total volume authorised can be specified as a maximum number of litres by entering a value in the field as shown. In this example, Wallace will track cumulative volumes exported against this label and remove authorisation once the 200 litres has been exported. The label owner can update this value at any time. Leaving the field blank defaults to unlimited volume access. This feature is handy if you have limited amount of product available and wish to carefully control who can export what. Please note that volume allowances will be overridden by the expiry date. That means that if the expiry date is hit before the total volume allowances have been used, the product access will still be removed. Access to a label can also be controlled by setting a fixed expiry date as shown. Leaving this field blank will allow ongoing access based on any volume constraints that have been applied. Label access will be removed based on whether approved volumes or expiry dates have been met, whichever occurs first. Label authorisation status can be set using the status field drop-down options as shown. This can be updated by the product owner at any time. Once the required fields have been updated, click next to continue. Review the information that has been entered. The details can be updated using the edit buttons against each section if needed. Scroll right on the authorised label records to see the details. Check the details entered are correct and click next to submit. Wallace will return a system message notifying you that the request has been successful and will display the application record number. Please note that associated exporter label authorization records are prefixed ALA. The details and status of the record can be viewed from My Records. When the label authorization is approved, Wallace will send a confirmation email advising that the request has been processed. A confirmation email is also sent to the associated exporter advising authorisation has been granted along with the record number that can be accessed for details. The associated exporter will now be able to access the label when they go through the shipping approval process. This now concludes the link products to an associated exporter training module. Further training modules can be accessed from the Wine Australia website. For any further assistance with your associated exporter processes, please contact the Wine Australia Export Assistance Team.